Good morning, this is Sylvia Applegate with the 8 o'clock breaking news on Channel 12. There's a new outbreak of chlamydia in the community. Chlamydia is a common STD, sexually transmitted disease, that can cause infection among both men and women. It can cause permanent damage to a woman's reproductive system. It is caused by an infection of a gram-negative bacterium called Chlamydia trachomatis. It is typically a silent infection without symptoms in approximately 50% of males and 80% of females. It is commonly found during pelvic exams in which women tend to have an inflamed cervix. Mucopurulent discharge. Mucopurulent discharge contains both mucus and pus, can be seen at the opening of the cervix. In women, slight vaginal bleeding after intercourse can be a sign of chlamydia. The CDC has reported that the club, the CLAM, is ground zero for this recent outbreak. The CLAM is an alternative nightclub for older adults and elderly. Most of the members of the community who have been infected are residents of Cedar Meadows Nursing Home, which is right across from the CLAM. Reporter Dick is on the ground and will be interviewing Cedar Meadows Nursing Home residents and the owner of the CLAM. Hi, this is Dick here, reporting live right outside of Cedar Meadows Nursing Home. I have this lovely lady, Margaret, who is one of the residents that was affected by the chlamydia outbreak. Margaret, what kinds of signs and symptoms did you experience that gave you a clue that there was something wrong? What kinds of tests did you have to get done to diagnose you with this infection? Oh, it's so good to see you, Mr. Dick. Truthfully, I was feeling well as a whistle, and my granddaughter came to visit, and I was telling her how much fun I've been having at the old clam, when she told me that even at my age, I still need to practice safe sex and should be regularly tested. Ain't she just the sweetest thing? So I went on down to Planned Parenthood and had a nucleic acid amplification test from a urine sample, and they told me I was positive for chlamydia. Well, by golly! They said it's pretty normal to not have any symptoms and that it was easy to take care of since it was caught pretty early. We have another resident here reporting from the clam. Karen, hi, can you talk to us about your concerns with the clam and how it has affected you? Why, well, hello. That is Miss Karen Jackson to you. I knew from the moment that place opened up, it was going to make a sinner out of all of us. Yes, sir. That place promotes bad and unhealthy behaviors like having unprotected sex, having multiple sexual partners, and misusing alcohol. All they do is drink and have sexual relations all day at that place. Mm. Greg just died last week from a heart attack due to all the excitement going on over there. I don't know how they allow this place to be open. I don't know. The only way to avoid all this nastiness in the world, like STDs, is to practice abstinence. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's the answer. As a matter of fact, people should just stop touching altogether. That's nasty. If a person has to be sexually active, they can lower their chances of getting chlamydia and other STDs by being in a long-term monogamous relationship with one partner. Count them. One partner. I had to say it louder for the people in the back. Mm-hmm. People need to be tested regularly and use condoms the proper way. I know they teach them safe sex practices at all those liberal schools, so I don't know why they're out here infecting everybody. Communication is key. Yes, sir. People need to communicate with their partners. Yes, they do. Y'all need to start listening to me now. I know what's best. I'm just out here every day saving lives. Now, I wouldn't call myself a hero. I'm just doing what any concerned citizen would do. So if that makes me a hero, well, then I guess I am a hero. You know, I felt it in my spirit that something was wrong with that place. So as soon as we get that place shut down with this here petition, I got my holy water ready. And me and my girls, the Karen's Angels of Righteousness, will cleanse this land and get rid of all the sin that's been plaguing us. You must sign this petition right now so that we can be saved. Right now, you must. All right. Sorry, guys. Had to censor Karen back there. Back to Sophia Applegate. 
This is Dick, Channel 12. Hi, Dick here, reporting inside of the Clam Club. We have Stefan, owner of the Clam, here to tell us more about what the Clam provides to these senior citizens. Go ahead, Stefan. People come to the Clam to have fun and meet new people. It is conveniently next door to Cedar Meadows Senior Living to allow easy access for fun. Although it's a place to enjoy your time, sometimes residents will have a little too much causing the risk to catch chlamydia. Many only think young people can catch chlamydia, but that's not true. Many are sexually active without protection, such as use of a condom or having sex with multiple partners and not knowing if they have an infection or not. Alcohol and drugs can interfere with our choices we make, but, unfort- but fortunately, chlamydia is treatable. Communication about safe sex practices will create a safer environment for all. All right, you heard it here first, folks. Open communication and safe sex practices. Who knew, right? Back to Sophia Applegate. This is Channel 12 News. I'm here with local specialist, Dr. Prentice, who will explain why it is important to discuss chlamydia, what are complications related to chlamydia, what are treatments of chlamydia, how to prevent chlamydia, and what resources are available. Dr. Prentice here. Wanted to talk a little bit about chlamydia complications and testing, maybe some treatments. Um, In women, untreated chlamydia can be a cause of multiple things. Uh, Pelvic inflammatory disease, which can lead to scar tissue in the fallopian tubes, um, some atopic pregnancies, and maybe even infertility. and also can cause um, newborns um, that are less than 30 days old to have conjunctivitis and pneumonia. Complications in men are rare, but can cause a fever and pain in the testes, which can lead to infertility as well. Um, Any untreated chlamydia can also increase the chances of HIV, so you want to make sure that you get tested. Some tests um, that can be done um, for diagnostics of chlamydia is uh, called a nucleic acid amplification test, um, NAAT for short. Um, it's a simple non-invasive test during um, which you just collect a swab or urine sample yourself and then you send it in um, to see if there's any genetic material um, with the presence of chlamydia bacteria. Women during the time of seeing their primary care or OBGYN can get a pap smear Um, And also a HIV test is usually done during that time. Um, And then usually a pregnancy test should be done too if any treatment is needed. Screening should be done for chlamydia chlamydia about every three to six months if you're sexually active. Once the results are back from the culture test um, and they are positive for chlamydia, antibiotics, Um, are used to treat it. Um, Some of them are usually amoxicillin, erythromycin, or doxycycline. Um, And that can be about a seven-day course. Um, If that's too hard for you or them, um, one dose of azithromycin can be given, um, and that's just to be a pretty quick treatment. Um, But then you want to make sure that you follow up um, to prevent any spreading. Those that have contracted chlamydia should abstain from sex for seven days to prevent any spreading. Um, And just overall, you just want to be educated of the symptoms of chlamydia and how to um, treat it if needed. Um, You know, going to your primary care provider or there's also certain clinics, health clinics that can actually send you resources and um, send tests to your house if you're uncomfortable um, for coming in to be seen. Um, But just, you know, allowing people to have privacy and not everyone wants to talk about this type of thing. So, you know, it's okay as long as they're not um, willing to pass it along to others. That's all for this morning's breaking news. Stay tuned as we will have updates on this outbreak. Later today, can dolphins read minds? on the 12 o'clock news.